At the recent NBA Regional Forum in White Plains, New York, we caught up with Ed Bolin, the association's president and CEO, to get his take on the current state of business aviation. Air traffic control privatization is still a hot topic, even though efforts in the House were dropped in February of this year. The Trump administration is still looking to reintroduce the proposal. The issue on the table was were we going to give control of our nation's air traffic system, a natural monopoly, to a small number of airlines and allow that cartel to decide who can fly where, who can fly when, and who pays how much. And fortunately, our community stood up. It made its size and significance felt. We had a number of people like Sully Solenberger, uh, astronauts, Blue Angels, Thunderbirds, and others. But really, it was our community standing up and making their voice heard on Capitol Hill that eliminated the privatization effort in the House bill. So a significant round was won by us. We don't expect the airlines to give up. This is something that for decades they've been working on, trying to seize control of the air traffic system. But what we're showing is that we have the ability to engage our community and to make our size and significance felt on Capitol Hill. So we can build on this success, not just today, but well into the future. The business aviation community is facing other challenges too. We've got to make sure we have access to airports and airspace. The privatization fight was a lot about access to airspace. We still have challenges at the airport level. Uh, we've seen Santa Monica, for example, uh, go down to 3,500 feet and set itself up for closure on 2028. Uh, we don't think that was a good deal. We don't think it was an appropriate deal. We're challenging it. We've seen uh, the restrictions at East Hampton that we're fighting. We've seen challenges come up at Love Field. So we're constantly looking to make sure we know what's happening at an airport level as well as an airspace level. We also have a significant challenge attracting, retaining, and developing a sufficient workforce, not just for today, but in the future. So we have lots of efforts going on to attract, retain, and develop great young professionals in our industry. Finally, we asked Ed what this community has learned in the fight against ATC privatization. Well, I think what we've learned is that our community matters, that we can do things at an individual level, at a grassroots level. Our community can do so much when we come together, share our experiences, share our expertise, and most importantly, share our passion. After all, we're a business, but we're a passion, and together we can do so much.